The Huawei P30 Pro has periscope zoom. The Oppo Reno is supposed to have it too. So what is this periscope zoom and how does it work? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Hey guys, Ash here from FTJ by C4 Retech and in today's video, let's take a look at how the periscope zoom technology actually works. Now, if you do end up liking what you see in this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Now, periscope zoom isn't new technology at all. In fact, digital cameras have been using this tech for a while now. So why has it taken so long to get to smartphones? Well, given the size of the cameras, the images tended to be blurrier and darker with periscope implementations. So to solve this, it has taken brands a while. So how did Huawei solve this problem? Now, before we jump into that, let's actually see how zoom works in the first place. So basically, a zoom lens works by increasing the focal length of the lens itself for magnification. So that begs the next question, what is focal length? Now, to answer that in layman terms, you could call that as the length of the lens, right? Kinda. Now, it is the distance between the center of the lens and the image sensor. So basically, when you keep increasing the distance, a smaller portion of the scene strikes the image and hence the magnification. But for this, you need moving parts, right? And that's why something like, say, Samsung's Galaxy K Zoom, in the past, it was so bulky, it had, you know, lens parts that popped out. Now, avoiding this is where the periscope part of the zoom comes in. With a periscope, the lens is arranged vertically inside with the prism at top that reflects the light at a 90 degree angle. So basically, whatever happens now happens vertically and nothing pops out. Huawei's zoom lens has only a fixed focal length, that's 5x zoom, so it doesn't have any moving parts here. So how are you able to zoom from 1x to 5x? Well, that's using software to get information from both the primary and the 5x zoom lens. Now, they use digital zoom and image fusion technology to get this done. Now, this is how they avoid the blurriness issue associated with periscope zooms. And the other issue that I mentioned at the start, the image turning out darker part, now Huawei has solved this by using a higher quality prism. So that's basically how the periscope zoom works. And anything from 5x to 10x, now, for this, Huawei uses a super sampling algorithm. Basically, they take multiple digital zoom shots with the 5x optical zoom lens, and then these shots are combined to produce a single image with almost no loss in quality. Hence the term hybrid zoom, as it uses the digital zoom shots of the 5x optical zoom lens. So now that's basically what you need to know about the periscope zoom lens and how it works. So, now, this is something I found interesting because we've seen it on the P30 Pro, it's going to be coming on the Reno, so I thought you would find it interesting too. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends and family if you can, subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't already. So either way, thanks a lot for watching, till next time, my name is Ash, you've been watching FTJ by C4 Retech, and of course if you've not watched these videos, do that. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.